anticipated T20 World Cup match between Pakistan and India has finally started after a rain delay. Pakistan skipper, Baba Azam, won the toss and chose to field first. The match, initially delayed by 30 minutes, is now underway at 8.20 p.m. after a second inspection by the umpires. No reserve day is scheduled for this match. Despite being cricket powerhouses, head-to-head -head matches between Pakistan and India are rare. With the last test match played in 2007, they only meet in official ICC competitions. India, led by Rohit Sharma, faces Pakistan's Baba Azam and his team at the Nassau County International Cricket Stadium in New York. The venue has a capacity of 34,000 and was built earlier this year. Tickets for this match were sold out months in advance. A loss in this match will significantly impact Pakistan's chances of qualifying for the Super 8 stage of the tournament. According to AccuWeather, there was a 43% chance of rain before the match, increasing to 54% by 11 a.m. New York time. Israel's raid on the New Zealand refugee camp has sparked widespread outrage, with the European Union describing the incident as a massacre. According to Gaza's health ministry, the death toll from the raid has risen to 274, with more than 698 others injured. Doctors on the ground describe the scenes inside Al-Aqsa Hospital in central Gaza as a complete bloodbath, with one medic likening the inside of the hospital to a slaughterhouse. Doctors Without Borders reports that Al-Aqsa and Nasa hospitals are overwhelmed by the number of severely injured patients. Meanwhile, Israeli forces claimed they rescued four captives during the raid at the New Zealand refugee camp amid heavy criticism due to the significant civilian casualties. One Israeli officer was killed during the operation. On the other hand, Hamas's military spokesman said that Israel killed captives during the New Zealand operation, but did not specify the circumstances or the number of people killed. Since the conflict began on October 7, at least 37,084 people have been killed and 84,494 injured in the ongoing war between Israel and Gaza. Narendra Modi has been sworn in as India's Prime Minister for a third term. The ceremony was attended by leaders from neighboring countries, including Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Nepal, and the Maldives. Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party did worse than expected in the general election, relying on partners in the National Democratic Alliance for a majority in Parliament. Dozens of ministers will also take the oath including MPs from the Telugu Dizam Party and the Janata Dal, the largest BJP allies. Indian media reports that the top cabinet jobs, including interior, foreign, finance, and defense ministries, will remain with the BJP.